Hello everyone, today I'm gonna do a Jennifer Lopez transformation and I'm so excited that I can't stop dancing. Alright, time to get serious. So first I'm gonna apply my makeup primer and this just makes the foundation go on really smoothly and just makes the makeup look super nice overall. Then I'm gonna take my beige liquid foundation that's very similar to JLo's skin tone and I'm just gonna start stippling that onto my face with my flat kabuki brush. Now I'm gonna take a concealer that's a shade or two shades lighter than my liquid foundation and I'm gonna start applying it to the parts of my face where the sun usually hits JLo's face, if that makes sense. So I'm um, just applying it to my forehead, underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and also on the chin. And for the parts of my face that I didn't apply concealer, I'm going to use a beige powder foundation and just set everything like the temples on my forehead, the cheekbones, and the jawline. Then I'm going to take a powder foundation that is two shades lighter than the previous one and apply that on top of the concealer to highlight it even more. Jello has thick brunette brows with a medium arch and since I don't have much eyebrow hair, I'm going to take my brow cake and fill them in. Also, if you have a lot more brows than mine, maybe you could shape them a little bit to make them look as similar to JLo as possible. So let's get to contouring. JLo's nose is a bit narrow on the top and it gets wider as you go down. So according to your nose shape, just start contouring, blending and also highlighting which we're going to do next. To make the tip of my nose look as round as hers, I'm going to apply a little bit of highlight and also I'm going to apply a highlight on the bridge of my nose like she usually does. Not quite through with the highlighter yet, I'm going to apply the highlighter on my inner eye corners to make my eyes look more wide and awake like hers. JLo is very fond of shimmery earth tone shadows and they complement her brown eyes really well. So next I'm going to be applying this bronze eyeshadow on my eyelids. Then I'm going to brush on a darker brown shadow on my lower lash line and this just instantly makes my eyes look bigger and more sultrier like JLo's. To cut my crease, I'm taking this black eyeshadow and applying it right above my actual crease. And uh, this makeup is very similar to the makeup she wore in the Oscars 2013. Time to bring out the liner. So I'm taking my black eyeliner and lining my upper lash line quite thick um, just to help my eyes look more big like hers. But if you guys already have big eyes, then you can just do a regular liner and don't forget to wing it at the corner. JLo actually wears a lot of white eyeliner on her waterline, so I'm just gonna do the same. To keep these bad boys up, I'm gonna bring out my handy dandy eyelash curler, and now let's move on to the false lashes. Take a pair of round shaped flirty lashes and start applying them on your upper lash line. And um, once you've applied the eyelashes, then you can apply mascara on your upper and lower lashes. Back to contouring. So we all know that JLo has that really sharp and chiseled cheekbones. So I'm going to do a similar technique like the Angelina Jolie Maleficent video and just start contouring with that angled contour brush and start blending it later. We're at the lips now and JLo has a lot smaller lips compared to mine. So I'm taking this very natural looking lip liner and creating a thin lip on the top and a bit fuller lip on the bottom. To hide any trace of your actual lips, take a flesh colored pencil and just go around your new lip shape. Then I'm going to apply this nude lip liner on top and this just balances out the heavy eye makeup. So I've already put on the sheer jewel dress that screams JLo and next is this wig that my friend Darnell Wad, also known as Harry Goes, he made this for me. So it's a custom JLo wig and it looks amazing so I'm just going to go ahead and put that on. Now the only thing I'm missing is the brown color contacts and the big JLo curls. Um, I'll be using this teal colored curling wand from Numi's Titan 3 styling set. It comes in a set of three and I'll be using the biggest barrel. Since this wig is made out of human hair, I can curl it just like my own hair. Um, once the curling wand is heated, I'm going to start curling from the front and make my way toward the back. So curl, wait a couple seconds and release. 
If you aren't used to the clipless curlers, I would suggest getting a glove just to avoid the burns. If any of you guys are looking for a good curling wand, this whole set is being sold for $99 right now, which I think is usually over $200, only for my viewers. So make sure to take advantage of it by using this code JLO99 and also shipping in US is free. So that's it for my JLO transformation. I'll catch you guys next, hopefully, in my Anna from Frozen video. So until then, take care and bye bye.